Hey everyone, it's Lucy from kbeautyhobby.com. I thought I'd do another little nail demo. These are Impress Press On Manicure. And these are my choice for when I need really quick, not necessarily super long lasting, but really quick and good looking manicure. I use most of the time Dashing Diva Magic Press and I do have a tutorial for that. I actually have a whole nail playlist with Ahura, Dashing Diva, Nail Log and other brands I invite you to check that out, as well as removal videos. But uh, Impress, I think, is pretty similar, so let's try those today. Each pack comes with 30. They do come in different lengths. This one is short. I will warn you about using the long length. If you are not used to having very long nails, I would advise you maybe to skip the long kinds. I did pick up a pack recently a couple weeks ago at TJ Maxx. It was on, on sale for just five dollars which was great. Beautiful, beautiful. I'll see if I can find a picture and put it somewhere in the video for you to see but unfortunately after just 20 minutes I had to take them off because for me it just was not a practical length at all. I mean I couldn't even type with them. We have the prep pad, a little cuticle pusher deal, the little instruction manual. The nails feel like flexible plastic. Not flimsy, but thin enough to feel pretty natural once you apply them. And one little handy thing that I didn't notice right away, but I know now after applying similar things so many times, is the little pull-off tab here has a size on it. These go usually from 0 to 11, and the smaller the number, the bigger the nail. So 0 is going to be the biggest nail, and 11 is going to be the smallest nail. It's very handy because once you know about what numbers you need for your nails, you can quickly pick them off out of the set instead of uh, trying to fit each one individually. The most important step of any nail application is prep. I do a basic one, but it really affects the longevity of the manicure. I use a metal cuticle pusher. I will put links to all the tools in the description box. These are fairly inexpensive, can be easily gotten on Amazon and I just push the cuticle down. Some people trim the cuticle, I don't do that because it tends to grow out jagged, plus you have a chance of accidentally injuring the finger, bleeding, etc. So I just push it back. Even if it looks like there is no cuticle, I would still push gently. Don't put a lot of pressure on the nail, you don't want to damage anything, but I don't know if you can see that, but like right there, there are little pieces of skin kind of coming off and Stickers, um, nail stickers or press-on nails, they do not stick to skin very well. And so if you don't create a good seal right there at the cuticle, they're not going to last as long as they can. The next thing I do is pick out my nail sizes. I know about my sizes in Dash and Diva and let's see if they're similar here. Next I'm going to use this prep pad and the reason that I didn't do that before picking out my nails is because especially if you are new and you don't know exactly what size to pick, you're probably going to be trying to line them up to your finger and touching the nail bed and getting some of your skin oil on that. So I do all of that first. You definitely don't want these to be too big or too small. You try to get it just right. Keep in mind that they're a little bit curved and when you apply and push they do spread out and get a little bit wider. So when I'm trying to fit them to my nail to see which size I need, I do try to flatten it out a little bit just to see how it spreads. Uh, I know already that this is my size, but when you're new and you're not sure, that's the way to do it. And now before I'm actually going to apply these, I'll take out this provided puff pad. They only provide one. I can usually get a couple manicures out of my set, but I could just use an alcohol wipe next time and I get mine from Costco in like a big pack. Because this is all that this is. It's pretty much an alcohol wipe. So we're just going to do a good job of removing all the oil. I don't recommend taking really long bath soaks or doing a ton of dishes right before applying these because that will increase the moisture content in your nails and the nail strips can adhere not as well. So definitely make sure your hands are clean and dry. Mine look extra dry, the skin, because I didn't want to put lotion right before. And then we do get a little nail file in here, which is mostly useless. I will show you in a second why they include it. I prefer to use my own nail file though. 
Okay, I start from the pinky and toward here because I tend to use my index finger and my thumb in the application process, and so I do those last. This is so, so simple. All you do is peel off the little clear backing, and there's already adhesive applied for you on the back of the nail. Try not to touch the adhesive side. And then line it up with your finger. Make sure it's straight. Get it as close to the cuticle without going over the skin. Kind of gently lay it on there. And once it is where you want it to be, you're going to just smush it down without going overboard. Don't push too hard. You don't want to injure your fingernail or bruise anything. But just do a good job pressing it down. And it's a good idea not to submerge your hands in water for about half an hour after doing these. I love to do these at night, right before going to bed, to really let them be dry overnight. But you don't have to do that. You can do them during the day as well. Just maybe keep your hands dry for about half an hour or so. And then you do that with the rest of the nails. It is very, very simple. It is even easy to do on the non-dominant hand. I would say these are much easier to do than any other nail products like polish or gel strips or anything else. There is a trade-off, of course, as there usually is in life. These do not last as long. They last pretty well for me, usually about a week or so. Um, I've gone as long as nine days with Dashing Diva Magic Press, which are a little bit shorter. These are a short length in the Impress, and they, for me, this is actually kind of on the long side. You can see how much they stick out over my finger pads. Uh, with the Dashing Diva, it is closer to my actual finger pad. Those are much shorter, but that's okay. All right, this took me under five minutes to do. It is a lot faster to do off camera when I can actually get my hands closer to my face to see what I'm really doing and not try to stay in focus and not talk through the process. So it's much, much, much faster than doing, let's say, gel strips like a Hora or Dashing Diva. Those usually take me about 45 minutes, but if you're very new to the process, it might take you an hour. However, again, those last a whole two weeks, so that's usually worth it for me. This is a quick under 10 minutes if you include the prep. So pretty much these are done, but to the nail file topic. This happens with every brand that I've tried. If you look closely at the tip of my index finger, you will see that there's a little imperfection right there. And that happens on almost every nail. I'm trying to put a little paper there so you can see better. Basically, I think when these are manufactured, they must be joined together in the middle and then are cut apart before final shipping and right where they used to be joined is usually a little imperfection. It's a super easy fix though. All you need is a nail file and you just file in one direction and it takes just another few seconds to smooth it out and it feels perfect. Same on the thumb. The pack had 30 little press-ons in it. I can get two manicures out of it. So the first time I do a manicure I will use my preferred sizes. Uh, I usually do 10, 8, 7, 8, and 0. But the next time I do it, I can get away with using sister sizes. Like I could use some 7s, I could use some 6s. For the thumb, I take a 1, which is the next bigger size. And the sides here are pretty flexible. It is more rigid toward the middle, but the sides are pretty flexible. So all I do is take manicure scissors and trim, I don't know, a millimeter, if that, maybe half a millimeter off of each side very carefully just to make it more narrow. And sometimes I'll file just a tiny bit off the top just to make it a little bit shorter because it actually fits decent, but I can feel it pushing against the sides of my cuticle if I just put it on a bare nail. So all I do is just make it a little bit more narrow and that allows me to get another application. How many applications you get will 100% depend on the size of your nails, but for the price of under $10, I think even if it was just one application, 
still not a bad deal, especially with how super simple they are to apply. But that's it. You're done. My hands are very, very dry, but I'm going to hold off on lotion until it's been, I don't know, maybe an hour or so. And then to remove these, it's very easy. The longer you have them on, the easier they are to remove because the adhesive naturally sort of weakens. All I do is take a toothpick and pick at the cuticle line just a little bit, just to create some separation between the nail and the sticker. Then I put a little drop of nail polish remover in there, or you can use something like an oil. And then I take a floss pick and work it between the nail and the natural nail and the press-on nail. And if I feel a lot of tugging, a lot of resistance, I'll add another little drop of polish remover in there just to get it off. But typically these come off pretty easily. Not so easily that they fall off in daily life, but once you're ready to remove them, usually there's not a lot of problems. Just do not pick and tug and rip because you can damage your nail that way. Don't do that. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope this was helpful. And if you have your own tips or your own favorite brands of nails, please let me know because I love trying different brands. I've been doing my own nails at home for about eight years now. Actually, a little bit longer than that. I started doing shellac myself when gel manicures first became a thing, but I'm not very good at painting my nails, to be honest. So about seven-ish years ago, I switched to different decals and wraps and stuff, and they're so much better now than they used to be seven years ago. So definitely let me know if you have a good brand or something else you want me to try or you think I should try. You can find me on Instagram at kbdhobbit. I have a highlight there for nails on my blog, kbeautyhobby.com, and in my private Facebook group, Korean Beauty Fanatics. I hope to see you in my next video, and until then, please remember to always listen to your skin. Thank you so much. Bye.